Hey Summers, welcome or welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to be looking at the brand new Sims 4 expansion pack Horse Ranch. So if you saw in a previous video that I posted a few weeks ago, I did create two Sims that I wanted to utilize to look at the aspects of this pack as well as the gameplay. So we have Rowan Foster here and her twin brother Roland. So I just wanted to have a different perspective so i wanted to utilize two sims for this and before you know creating those sims i didn't have much knowledge not, not a whole lot of information was out about this pack but after watching some gameplay videos from other simmers i realized that there were two traits that we get with this expansion pack so the first one being the uh rancher trait here so these sims excel at ranch life and take pride in their work they enjoy ranch chores and caring for their livestock so i decided to give roland the rancher trait and then i gave his sister rowan the horse lover trait so these sims share a strong bond with horses they have an easier time socializing with and caring for horses and other sims so i thought this was pretty perfect uh along with the two traits we did also get two new aspirations so the first one being championship rider this sim wants to be one of the world's premier horse riders and will prove it by participating in horse competitions. And then we also got another one down here under the food category called Expert Nectar Maker. This sim wants to master the art of nectar making, honing their abilities to consistently craft only the best nectars. They also want to make an absurd amount of simoleons doing it. So I went ahead and gave Rowan the championship rider aspiration since she is a horse lover. And then I gave her brother Roland the uh, expert nectar maker aspiration since he is a rancher. So those are the two new traits and the two new aspirations for this pack. So I do have all of the packs installed. So here we have Chestnut Ridge, which is the new map for the Horse Ranch expansion. So this is going to hopefully give us a good outlook of the uh, pack uh, integration. So to kind of see, you know, how Seasons plays a part in this, maybe Nifty Knitting has a part in this, Cottage Living, you know, all, all of that good stuff. So. I don't really know what we're going to see here. This is my first look at the game as well. So I didn't even make it to this part off camera, y'all. So <laughs> it looks like uh, Chestnut Ridge is separated into three different neighborhoods. So up here we have Galloping Gulch. Down here in the middle we have New Appaloosa, which is a really cute shout out to Appaloosa Plains from Sims 3, if you know you know. And then over here we have Riders Glen down in the bottom right corner. So in Riders Glen we have two empty lots here and then we have one 64 by 64 residential lot. In the middle here of New Appaloosa, we have one residential lot here that your Sims can purchase. And then up here in Galloping Gulch, we have one residential lot your Sims can purchase called Palomino Junction. And then there's also a rental lot up here in the corner, uh, just in case you want your Sims to come here and, you know, vacation. So I think we're going to go ahead and choose a lot that's already built just for the, um, you know kind of like that deep dive into this expansion pack i don't necessarily want to build anything just yet because i just want to get into the gameplay so i think we're going to choose this one palomino junction up here so here we are at palomino junction and y'all i just have to say i don't care i don't care i don't care i don't care reshade makes all the difference <laughs> After seeing so much early access gameplay and since they're not able to use reshade, having this in your hands now and utilizing those reshades that you have in your game, if you use them, it makes a world of difference for this. Like everything just pops, everything just looks so much more lively. So I am excited to get this started. So here in Palomino Junction, we have this cute little cabin that is decorated fairly nicely here, utilizing a lot of the build by objects. Back here in the back of the house, we have some barrel runs for training your horses. We have a little jump here for your horses to train with, and this would be where your horses 
will uh, sleep. And we have a feeding trial here, right? Yes. And we have something brand new here called prairie grass. So you can harvest prairie grass, uh, uproot it. Like, and from what I've seen, um, this actually grows pretty wildly. So if you place a lot of these patches down to make like this really nice field and everything, I bet that would look really really awesome i don't really know how the functionality would work if you have a bunch of these together and then you try to harvest it or your animals try to eat from it don't really know but i also am very like interested to see uh do do, do the cows like i don't know i don't know how that plays out do cows and llamas and all that like rabbits or free range rabbits do they also eat from this if you have cottage living i don't know but i want to find out and i'll probably do that with another type of gameplay so let's actually take a look at uh this area up here because this is absolutely gorgeous so you have another barrel run down here and you have like this really nice cliffside over here looking down to this stream and you have a waterfall back here like multiple looking waterfalls over here this is really really gorgeous and up here this is actually where that uh residential lot is i believe so this is a really nice area too just to get your sims uh to have them get their bearings so that is actually a really really cute house it has a front porch y'all look at that and i love that bench actually it's really really cute a little fire pit out there yes all right and then coming on over here we have some canyons back there and then we'll go ahead and go down here i see a sim down there i don't know who that is i don't think she's from this map but you have a really nice stream over here as well okay cute little sign over here another mini waterfall down there and i'm assuming you can uh walk on this right yes yes you can okay and then it looks like we have a really cute little spot over here with an outhouse some more training aspects for your horses and some more uh, campfire pits here this is really really nice and this looks like a really big uh area like look at this look how big this is Wha this is amazing like truly our house is over there <laughs> so this is a really big neighborhood like huge oh look at that little detail it's like a broken uh wheelbarrow wagon so let's go ahead and get our sims to go into the house here i did put this in a uh, summer because i wanted to see everything at its fullest at its most green so taking a look here at our aspirations starting with mr roland here we have that expert nectar maker aspiration and this is just a one level one tier aspiration so we have to achieve level five in nectar making skill make 50 excellent bottles of nectar and make a hundred thousand simoleons selling nectar y'all all right and then for the championship rider this is also just one tier so we have to achieve level 10 horse riding skill compete in 15 horse competitions win gold in five master horse competitions and place at the ultimate horse championship so definitely a lot to do <laughs> and that's why they're only one tier but that is absolutely fine. So right now we have 2,500 simoleons. So I think first and foremost, what we're going to do, what is it under? Is it home? 
Okay, yes. Yeah. So under the home category for your Sims phone, you can call the Ranch Animal Exchange. And you can rescue a horse for 250 simoleons. You can purchase a horse for 1,000 simoleons. And you can buy many goats and many sheep. So I want everything. So I think what we're going to do with the amount of simoleons that we have, we're going to purchase one horse and we're going to rescue one horse. So let's look at the rescue horses here. So we have a few here. We have Centaur. So they're needy, fearful, and defiant. What it says about rescue horses is due to the environment they come from, rescue horses will have more difficult traits. Some extra attention and care may be needed. And so we can rescue an adult horse here. This is a stallion. So this is a male horse. Then we have a foal here, fearful, defiant, and friendly. We have Dash here that's needy, fearful, and aggressive. Kelpie. Oh, this is a foal, Kelpie, Kelpie. You know what? Misty and Ma Maniac? Man <laughs> Maniac? <laughs> Cute. So it looks like we have a uh, male and female foal here for the rescue horses. So let me actually take a look ah, at Mama. the um, horses that we can purchase because... If we have some foals in here as well, we might actually start them off as foals just so we can see the gameplay for that and then see what they are like at as adult horses. So we do have some foals here. We have, uh, looks like three foals. So we have Bella, Falcon, and Cruiser. I'm loving these names. So with the rescue horses, we have one male and one female. So I like the name uh, Cruiser, to be honest. So, Cruiser is intelligent, friendly, and brave. Horsescope? <laughs> oh my god, there's one called Spirit. Remember Spirit? Oh, it's an elder horse. Oh, Spirit. You got Cha-Cha, Hidalgo, Turtle, <laughs> Long Face, <laughs> Prime. Prime is an elder horse. <laughs> So it looks like Cruiser here is an Arabian, a Falcon is an American Saddlebred, and Bella is an Anglo-Arabian. So Bella is actually really pretty. Bella is energetic, friendly, and needy. So I think we'll choose Bella as our female horse here. And what are we doing here? Purchase horse. So do we go off the lot? Girl, <laughs> you can't even make it out a lot. Okay, so she is going to be a way to purchase the horse. And I think we'll get her brother to, um, can we rescue a horse at the same time she's going out to purchase one? So Bella is our female. So we are going to get, uh, Kelpie was a female, so we're gonna get Copper. Copper and Bella, cute. And they both look the same, to be honest. So, uh, Copper here is also an Anglo-Arabian, and they are fearful, defiant, and friendly. So let's go ahead and get Copper. So you have to go off and rescue the horse. So here's Bella, so we might keep the name Bella. Bella Foster. Yeah, let's keep the name Bella. So she is back with the horse that we purchased. It says a new horse. Congratulations, you have a horse. Owning, owning a horse is a way of life that requires hard work, training, and lots of care. To properly care for a horse, you'll need a handful of items. Stock up from build mode through objects by room. Go to the outdoor section and then animals. Helpful items may include the feeder, water trough, horse bed, one big ball, and horse jumps for barrels. So we already have horse jumps of barrels. We have the horse bed and the animal feeder. I think we had a water trough in the back here yes so let's buy the one big ball for our horse um, and then let's actually take a closer look at our little baby Bella here so Bella Foster you can see the hunger energy fun social and hygiene she coming to greet us oh we're gonna cradle her oh my goodness and she 
gain the temperament skill, Bella's new skill and temperament will begin to help her socialize with Sims and other horses. As the skill increases, socialization will become even easier. Full grown horses with high temperament skill are less likely to buck riders and will perform better at certain community jobs and the Western Pleasure, Show Jumping, and Ultimate Horse Championship competitions. Okay. So, and having Rowan be a horse lover, uh, they enjoy socializing with horses and are empathetic to horse emotions. Because of this deep connection, they make it sad when they have not interacted with horses for a while. Well, girl, you won't have no problem with that. You are not going to get a drink because we need to interact with our horse here. Okay, she, all right, she's energetic. So we do have copper here, so let's get y'all. And copper comes with a cute little blanket. Oh, copper. All right, so let's get them to get to know these horses a little bit better. Oh my God, they're so cute. And then you also get a cute little moodlet down here from the horse lover trait, happy as a horse. Seeing a horse happy makes a Rowan happy. They are kindred spirits after all. Okay, so let's gentle touch. So we do have to keep an eye on their hunger, energy, fun, social, and hygiene. So you do get some interactions for your horses. A gentle touch, cradle, rub neck. Scratch, neck, whisper to, talk to, get stable gossip. Hmm, let's get some gossip. You can ask them how's it going. You can send them home. And for horse care, you can do a lot of different things here. So let's get a, uh, let's get a cute little blanket for Bella too. Because Copper just came, came through with, uh, with the clothing here. So let's get you, do you guys want to match? Oh, these are so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love these. Let's get her to put on... Uh, I'm gonna do this pink one. And then... I already like this one for copper here. Yeah, so cute. Okay. So now that our horses are dressed, well, welcome to the neighborhood, sir. So this is Don Gooseman here. Yeah. Let's um get you to. What's wrong with him? Not him doing the. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get you to invite neighbors in. Ooh, okay, more neighbors. Who's this? Roberto Crinkletop, mysterious rancher, and he brought some food with him. Pan de Campo, vegetarian safe and lactose free. Okay. Here, why don't you go? Howdy introduction. Yeah, let's do that. Howdy introductions. Thank you for putting that down. Yes. Girl, you come inside too. Oh, what's this? Stable gossip from interacting with friendly horse. Juicy. Wait, what exactly is going down in the stable? <laughs> All right, so meeting some Sims here. So you can ask about the community, ask about getting a horse, the cowpoke dance. Let's thank them for coming first, and then uh, let's ask about the community. Okay, you can find additional information about the community by using the community board. You can also purchase one for your home. So there's a board somewhere. I don't think we have one close by. And then let's see if we can... Uh, well, let's thank you for coming as well and brag about the ranch. Okay, let's brag about the ranch. Even though we don't got a lot going on right now, we still gonna brag about it. <laughs> we just got two horses, but you know. Let's brag about our horses. And what was the other... Oh god, this menu. I can't. I wanted to ask about the cowpoke dance. Is that in uh, small talk? 
It's not. Maybe it's in hobbies? Yes. Ask about cowpoke Or ask to cowpoke dance? Oh. Okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> Is he gonna do it or are we gonna do it with him? We gonna do it with him? Wait, where are you guys going? Roland? Oh, Is he about to dance? Ah, oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay. What is this helping? Okay, your dancing skill. Okay. Are you coming out to do it with us? No? He must be going home, right? <laughs> oh, no, he's going to look at us. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he's doing it, too. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Sorry, you are an elder. <laughs> Not him getting down. Yes, so you can cowpoke dance with other sims. I love it. Well, how about we go ahead and get uh, Roland here to refill the feeder. So you can refill the feeder for 30 simoleons or we can harvest some prairie grass and do that. And then where are we? Oh God, poop. Let's put that in our inventory. I saw that there's like, you can make some moldians off of uh, some manure here and also use them for plants. So Roland has learned about prairie grass hay. So we'll open our notebook here. A product of hard work between Sims and nature, prairie grass hay harvested and bundled into a healthy treat for your horses, many sheep and many goats. Sims can feed ranch animals by hand or use prairie grass hay to restock a hay now animal feeder. Perfect, so maybe we don't have enough here. Oh, you need four, four of the haystacks. So we have three. So let's go harvest some more over here. And we learned about normal quality horse manure. So manure that is recommended to use as fertilizer. And you can improve it by consistently meeting the needs of the horse. Manure from horses that are well cared for is worth more and provides stronger benefits. So you can use this for fertilizing, which improves the quality of gardening plants. So we're definitely going to put some uh, plants down also. Oh, another another poop pal. Let's put that in our inventory. All right, so now that we have five stacks of prairie grass here we're gonna go ahead and refill the feeder oh we found outstanding quality horse maneuver from you know harvesting the prairie grass so uh, roland here is uh he does have the rancher trait so roland is a rancher at heart his idea of a good time includes doing chores around the ranch and interacting with livestock rancher sims excel at ranch life occasionally making a bonus bottle when crafting nectar or extra hay when harvesting prairie grass he will be more successful at horse breeding we are going to take a look at this so you got eight meals so you see your remaining meals here and you see what the nutrient is so by seeing what the nutrient is is that are we able to change this does is there like outstanding prairie grass or maybe better prairie grass so i think doing like physical um interactions with your foals or horses in general will get them to increase their temperament skill more we also have another moodlet oh wait no that's different okay so you are Doing pretty good. So let's see what the bottle feed animation is. Because your hunger is good. Oh no, it's low, okay. Oh, does she not want it? Okay, there we go. Oh, she's just not used to being bottle fed. Cute. Aww. You want to greet my horse? Aww. How about you go ahead and feed copper? And then what else do you need? Your energy. Right, okay, so they'll probably sleep pretty soon. Oh, what's these moodlets? Okay, so you do get a rancher trait 
uh, Muli here, the ranch life suits rolling even the chores. And then harvesting prairie grass is great. Ask some sims about harvesting prairie grass for fun and they'll give you a weird look. Uh, <laughs> ask Roland the same thing and his eyes will light up. I guess because he is, um, I guess because he has the rancher trait possibly. Oh, do we need two beds? I don't think so. I think maybe they're sleeping like this because they're not really uh, acquainted with each other. So how about we go ahead and start getting this nectar, you know, thing going here. So we are going to start off with apple nectar because I did see that you need uh, specific skill levels for your nectar making in order to make better things. So let's go make some apple nectar. And actually, while he's doing that, maybe I can get Rowan here to plant some. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, she looks gardening. So looking at that, I'm assuming the color will change depending on what you're making. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's not the same uh, color there. So he's working on his nectar making skill. So we do have that here. It says nectar making combines the subtle art of extracting essential flavors from a wide variety of ingredients with the not so subtle art of smashing those ingredients to a pulp. Nectar making can be improved by crafting bottles at the nectar maker. Improving the nectar making skill increases how quickly Sims can craft nectar and unlocks access to new recipes. So now that she put that, do we have manure? We do have manure. I don't know if we can apply it yet. Fertilize, okay, not enough gardening skills, so we'll wait for those. How are you guys feeling? Excellent. How about we cradle you a little bit? And you can sell your horse. So let's open your profile. So your value is at a thousand now. Uh, I think Bella was the one that we straight up purchased. So her value is at a thousand simoleons. So you can see the skills, relationship, awards, and traits for your horses. And when it comes to Cooper here, oh, I'm sorry. When it comes to Copper here, his value is 250. So he is. Um, the horse that we actually rescued so i think your horse's value will uh, gradually go up so let's open the book here apple nectar and helps them feel inspired if nectar is at least lightly aged inspiration persists after nectar wears off okay oh, i didn't even get the uh the wine thing. So its quality is normal, it's worth 55 simoleons, and it's not yet aged. So we are going to make a couple of bottles of this. <gasps> oh guys, cute! Oh, they're getting to know each other. I love that. Oh. So I'm glad that they're getting along. You can't click on your horses to take control of them <laughs> so <laughs> there's that so just keep that in mind because you will just have to keep a very close eye on all of their needs because they basically have the same needs as sims let's go ahead and open those or actually let's store all non finely aged nectar bottles store all nectar bottles and he has a moodlet for it so neato nectar it's amazing that dumping ingredients in a tub then stomping them to pulp could produce nectar roland finds the whole process utterly fascinating perfect okay so our nectar's in there aging you can store a total of 13 bottles so i think with it getting to like 8 p.m we are going to probably uh travel and maybe hit up that bar Ooh. okay wait oh, i'm like it, <laughs> it has no roof but no it has a glass ceiling Ooh. 
and the sky is night. <laughs> this is nice. So how about we sit together? Get, get some some drinks. This is a very different uh, feel, very different theme for a bar here. I mean, seeing some townies here. Who's this? Oh no, that's Hector. Umber Grove. Let's uh, order a guy's night drink and get some money off. And we got apple nectar, grape nectar, potato nectar, strawberry nectar, salty llama. Is that new? I, I feel like salty llama is new. You know what? Let's let's see what this potato nectar is all about. Uh, we're going to order a drink. We're going to order. We're going to have her try the uh, grape nectar here. Not us having to pay more than our brother. <laughs> Look at what <laughs> she's looking at him. So pleasant nectar feeling. Roland can feel the pleasant sensations of nectar. So nothing in particular that has to do with it being potato nectar. So she's gonna drink the grape nectar. We have Juniper Grove over here. I wonder if they're married or if they're like, let's give a howdy, howdy introduction. Oh, there's a lot of Sims. Okay. Suli <laughs> Suli. Tell Trick about horse, of course. <laughs> of course. Gossip, hobbies. Oh. Oh. What? I'm guessing they probably are together. Does she flirt with us? This is really nice at night. So we got some shells here, some rabbit holes, change outfit, plan outfits at this cute little clothing store and then on this side we have nothing else <laughs> but we have some horse statues in the center here oh what's this we have a place you can buy many goats and many sheep so that's between 7 a.m to 10 p.m and you can shop for groceries and goods so we might actually go and do that in the morning and then you have some additional shells here Oh my god, like, I really wish they would stop with the deco buildings because this could have been turned into so much. Like, you could have even made this a single lot, right, for your sims to buy if they wanted to build their own uh, shop or something. Like, so much. And why, why only the one building? Why can't you turn these into something? I don't know, bakery? Maybe an actual winery? I don't know. Then we have a house over here and a shell over here, which could have totally been its own plot also. We have some training obstacles here. We have a nice little waterfall that you can't, uh, waterfall, <laughs> water fountain that you can't even interact with, okay. We have some um, like really cool like an old building used to be here type of deco on the outside so looking at this whole plot right here this looks like it used to be an actual building and they turned it into kind of like a cute little walkway or somewhere your sims can just chill at and looks like we have like a cute little community garden over here too so that would be pretty nice once sims actually start putting some stuff here and then we have the uh equestrian center here so we can purchase horses uh get some rescue horses enter all the competitions do some horse training or spectate and you can sell your horse here too so we have a really nice horse statue back here we have this really cool uh water tower this this section right here i don't know why but the way that it's laid out with the string lights is giving me uh Salvadorada vibes and we have a really random water balloon bucket out here <laughs> that's a choice but this is really cool this could have been turned into something oh my gosh but this is giving me a lot of inspiration to be honest because 
you could definitely on that really large plot of land for the residential plot you can build something like this and just have this really nice open front area right here especially if you utilize uh, some of the debug items because i'm sure like this fence and these grapevines here uh something similar should be in debug options right so you can really make something really really nice like look at this this is what i'm talking about like cute little sections uh for your horses if you build like an actual barn like oh i wish this was a lot oh okay and we have like a little community section over here with a uh, grill some picnic tables this i saw this this particular item right here and i hope it's in the debug menu because i absolutely love this as some really nice decoration both of these really what was that y'all saw that some kind of bug or animal oh what is that is that a rat hello you know what i don't see the uh <laughs> oh it's one o'clock the uh little little tumbleweeds <laughs> Where are the tumbleweeds? We need those. This is not a usable lot. Oh my god, there's so many lots that just could have... So many deco shell lots that just could have been used. So this is a lot here. So this is the park. This is what the park looks like, which is a really interesting park here. And then you have some more outhouses. And a car lot. Look at that. See, where where is this so we get the trailer oh all right <laughs> we get the trailer but we don't get the truck and build by i'm sure it's probably in debug but like i'm sure this whole a whole like setup is probably in the debug items but even if the rest of these cars are also debug items which they might be it would be really nice to use those as well so a lot of missed opportunity here we do have a food stall but it looks like it's just a regular uh, lemonade stall we have a no horse pooping sign here <laughs> like that's really gonna uh, keep them from doing that but why aren't we like we had to have to see if there was any new uh foods for this expansion pack i know about the three sisters chili but like look at this truck oh my god i'm get I, i'm seeing so many vehicles is this is this a hint that we might get cars next oh this is the nightclub okay look at that broken down truck oh that's so nice uh, the build by objects, the debug menu objects, all just the little details that they use for these these um, map areas are amazing. So this is what the bar looks like, which is really nice. Uh, what's over here? What do we got in the jungle area? Look at that! So you got a little log to look for frogs, but look at this uh, rundown like shed thing here. That's really really cool. Oh no! Oh, Copper's feeling scared. So there are specific interactions that you can do that have these icons next to them, depending on how your horse is feeling. So we're going to go ahead and calm him down. So he probably got scared because Roland is completely angry. Also, I did notice something that in your relationship panel, when you uh, hover over your horses, it does tell them or it does tell you how many days till the horse ages up so foals have six days six or seven days oh my goodness uh, oh my god oh <laughs> uh. oh hello oh uh. <laughs> i'm i'm a little bit traumatized by that we definitely have to get you calmed down um Let's try to calm you down some more. Let's calm down a little bit, Copper. It's okay. You feeling better? Okay, great. Let's go ahead and 
feed you. Oh, we can train to eat hay. So we have some in our inventory, but um, I wonder, like, do you actually need some in your inventory? Rowan doesn't have any, but can she still train? No, she can't. Okay. You're scared too? You're still scared? What is going on? Wait, is, does Copper have certain um, traits here? I think, I think he has certain traits. Fearful, yes. These horses are scared of everything and will often become spooked. Due to their fearful nature, it will take them longer to gain temperament skills. Okay, so you were just a scaredy cat. Look at, look, oh, are they grooming each other? Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. All right, so if we purchase mini goats and mini sheep, like, how much are they? Let me actually give her some more simoleons before she goes in there. Okay, great. So we're working with 2,500 simoleons and they're not terrible. So we have the mini sheep here. The black mini sheep costs 2,000 simoleons. Why? <laughs> like, because seeing people share their sheep on the early access gameplay, it didn't look like you would actually get like the sheep uh, hair in your inventory or anything like that. You would just share the sheep, get the money for it just out of thin air. So that's interesting. But you know what? With the early access gameplay, they didn't have cottage uh, living in there. So I wonder, I wonder, how about, oh, look at the mocha mini sheep. I want the mocha one, that's cute. And then for our goats, goats are pretty cute. How about we get uh, how about we get the black mini goat here? So they do go into your inventory and they do also have their own moods as well that you'll have to uh, keep an eye out for. It also tells you when they're ready for milking or ready for shearing. So, but the thing about this is not like you have to place some in world. <laughs> Stop talking to me, girl. Okay, let's shop for groceries and goods and see what they actually have to offer. So you get um, most of the same stuff you would get from like the vendors. Horse age up treat, a hay flavored treat that can be fed to a full or horse and instantly age them up. That is interesting. Oh, wow. And you get horse riding books, those do exist. You can buy prairie gra grass hay here as well. And pretty much uh, all of the ingredients you need to do your nectar making. Uh, some fishing books. There is no nectar making book as far as I'm aware, which is weird. Why isn't that, why isn't that a thing? All right, so that's place you in world simple quad. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh you're so cute and the mocha mini sheet let's place you in world too oh my god they're the cutest things ever missed opportunity for them to add little mini pigs a shear you for okay shear for wool or shear for simoleons oh See, I think only the option to share for some millions showed up when it was just the horse ranch pack. So having this for, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, there it is y'all. With cottage living included, you can milk your mini goats and shear your mini sheep for those specific items. Okay, so that's why the black sheep cost so much more because then you would get black wool. So now we got some brown wool and we should be able to list this on Blobsy or we can uh, use it to knit certain things. And we also got some goat milk. So yes, okay. Great, 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 great. I'm so glad to see that, honestly. Let's name you kid. <laughs> Perfect. And let's name the sheep Poppy. That's cute. Okay. So we can clean you. Let's clean you. 
and since they're little minis we have to bottle feed them i guess they don't grow older right they don't have anything they're already young adults so <laughs> that's a thing oh you get a moodlet too you goat it once they stop yelling mini goats are great conversationalists ah look at the hopping oh wait wait stay still <laughs> I love that. What's happening here? <laughs> okay. Interesting way to, to clean. Oh, you guys. Alright, how about we train to eat some hay? Who's calling her? Oh, okay, never mind. Can eat some hay. I should have. Okay, I already well, had one. Let me see. A new yes. boop. <laughs> Oh, the poop. <laughs> there it is. Why are you already scared? Sad. Okay, uh. let's tell you a joke. <laughs> oh, oh. This is so cute. How about you don't stand over here in the poop, Abella? But I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave this video here. So in the next one, we'll probably will age up these foals after we do a little bit more uh, training with them. So feeding them hay and everything like that. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next video for The Sims 4 Horse Ranch Expansion. Bye, guys.